All right, man, we're back with our boy George, man. Big George! 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 George, George in the jungle! Carlin, man. George, 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 uh, last time we watched him, man, he did great, you know? So I think, I don't know if this is the same. Chicken George? Uh, what is it called? What is it called, man, when they doing the same stand up? Curious it's George? Like the same, it's, a, it's not called a same show. Same routine? Not the same stand -up, routine. Same act. Yeah, it's like the Sets. same, uh, yeah, something like that. Same set. Right. It's like the same day, you know? It's like when they do, like, same I show. I don't know. I don't it's know. the same yeah. show. Yeah, same, same show, same performance. Act. All right, we don't know if this is or not, man, but he was talking about, you know, some wild stuff. Oh, he was talking about the Kansas thing and all that wild stuff. All right, we're here with the advertising NBS, man. Let's go ahead and get it. I call this piece advertising. Okay. <laughs> Quality, value, style, service, selection, convenience, economy, savings, performance, experience, hospitality, low rates, friendly service, name, brands, easy terms, affordable prices, money back guarantee, free installation. Free admission, free appraisal, free alterations, free delivery, free estimates, free home trial, and free parking. No cash, no problem. No kidding, no fuss, no muss, no risk, no obligation, no red tape, no hidden charges, no down payment, no entry fee, no purchase necessary, no one will call on you, no payments or interest till December, and no parking. <laughs> Limited time only though, so act now, order today, sent no money, offer good while supplies last, two to a customer, each item sold separately, batteries not included, mileage may vary. That's crazy, just that. All sales are final, allow six weeks for delivery, some items not available, some assembly required, some restrictions may apply. <laughs> Shop by mail, order by phone. Try it in your home. Get one for your car. All entries become our property. Employees not eligible. Entry fees not refundable. Local restrictions apply. Void where prohibited, except in Indiana. <laughs> So come on in. Come on in for a free demonstration and a free consultation with our friendly <laughs> professional staff. Yeah, our courteous smart. and knowledgeable... Bro, George is... That is tapped in. Oh, my gosh, that. Man, so oh my God, bro. Sales rep. Oh my God. Representatives will help you make a selection that's just right for you and just right for your budget. And say, don't forget to pick up your free gift. <laughs> a class Classic, deluxe, custom, designer, luxury, prestige, high quality, premium, select, hey. gourmet, pocket oh, flashlight. Man, bro, bro, bro. You know what that reminds me of that day you said, man, just say some words. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And, and if you act He's now, old. we'll include He's an extra old. added free complimentary bonus gift. A classic, deluxe, custom, designer, luxury, prestige, high quality, premium, select, <laughs> gourmet, leather style wallet with detachable keychain and a pencil holder. It's our way of saying thank you. And if you're not completely satisfied, you pay nothing. Simply return the unused portion for a full refund. No questions asked. It's our way of saying thank you. Keep your free gift. Actually, it's our way of saying bend over just a little further. <laughs> And let us stick this big dick into your ass a little bit deeper. <laughs> hey, George! I didn't expect We're you to say that. We're gonna get limited, George! I didn't expect you to say that. Right? Bomb, bomb it, George! Oh my god, oh, that's what I mean. You know, mean. whenever you're exposed to advertising in this country, you realize all over again that America's leading industry is still the manufacture, distribution, packaging, and marketing of bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Not quality bullshit. World-class designer bullshit, <laughs> to be sure. Hospital-tested, clinically proven bullshit. <laughs> but bullshit nonetheless. And it always amuses me that so many people seem to think that bullshit only comes from certain sources. You know, mm -hmm. advertising, politicians, salesmen. Not true. Bullshit is everywhere. <laughs> bullshit is rampant. Yep. Parents are full of shit, teachers are full of shit, clergymen are full of shit, yeah. law enforcement people are full of shit. The entire country is completely full of shit. In fact, this country was founded by a group of slave owners who told us that all men are created equal. That is as being stunningly, stunningly full of shit. And you know, I think... And I think people show their ignorance when they say they want politicians to be honest. What are these people talking about? If honesty were suddenly introduced into politics, 
it would throw everything off. <laughs> the whole system would collapse. Fast. And I think deep down the American people know that. The American people like their bullshit out front <laughs> where they can get a good strong whiff of it. <laughs> That's why they reelected Clinton. That's Listen. That's funny. Clinton might be full of shit, but he lets you know it. <laughs> Dole tried to hide it. I'm an honest man. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. People don't believe that shit. Clinton said, hi, I'm full of shit, and how do you like that? <laughs> and the people said, at least he's honest. <laughs> It's like about being full of shit. Hey, I like doing it, man. It's like the business world. All businessmen are completely full of shit. Just the worst kind of people you could ever want to run into. Businessmen. And the proof of it is, they don't even trust each other. They don't trust each other. When a businessman is negotiating a deal, the first thing he does is to automatically assume that the other guy is a complete lying prick who's trying to fuck him on the deal. So he has to do everything he can to fuck the other guy a little bit harder and a little bit faster. And then, when it comes to dealing with customers, that's when you get the big smile. That's when you get the big smile. Businessman always has that big smile on his face as he carefully positions himself directly behind the customer. And unzips his pants. And services the account. Wanna <laughs> fuck you? We specialize in customer service. <laughs> now you know what it means. Whoever coined the phrase "let the buyer beware" was probably bleeding from the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Then you have advertising. Advertising is the businessman's cheaply dressed two dollar blowjob. <laughs> advertising sells you things you don't need and can't afford that are overpriced and don't work. And they do it by exploiting your fears and insecurities. And if you don't have any, they'll be glad to give you a few by showing you a nice picture of a woman with big tits. <laughs> That's the essence of advertising. Big tits. Threateningly big tits. And speaking of big tits, what about show business? Show business, completely dishonest, corrupt, and full of shit, but in a nice way. Plenty of expensive drugs and perverted sex. If you're gonna be full of shit, might as well enjoy your work. Then you have the media. Not just the news media, let's include them all. The media are almost literally exploding with bullshit because they're located right at the crossroads of all the other bullshit. The media are made up of equal parts advertising, politics, business, public relations, and show business. These people are sitting right at bullshit junction. There's enough bullshit in the media for Texas to open a branch office. And you still have enough left over to start two law firms and a Christian bookstore. Because, folks, I gotta tell you, when it comes to bullshit, truly major league bullshit, you have to stand back in awe. In awe of the all-time heavyweight champion of false promises and exaggerated claims, religion. Organized religion. It's no contest. Religion easily, easily has the best bullshit story of all time. Think about it. Religion has convinced people that there's an invisible man living in the sky who watches everything you do every minute of every day. And the invisible man has a list of ten specific things he doesn't want you to do. And if you do any of these things, he will send you to a special place of burning and fire and smoke and torture and anguish for you to live forever and suffer and burn and scream until the end of time. But he loves you. That's crazy. He loves you.
Hey, George. Man. Put it like that. Hey, lie, George, man. He loves you and he needs money. <laughs> hey, George, boy. Hey, George, George. He always <laughs> needs money. He's all powerful, all present, all knowing, and all wise. Just can't handle money. <laughs> Religion takes in billions and billions of dollars, they pay no taxes, and somehow they always need money. You talk about a good bullshit story. If I may be permitted a small pun, holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> Comedians that speak their own opinion, though, you know, yeah. you know, you know. It's crazy. Yeah, you know, that was wild. Yeah, wild. The, the the way he was reciting all that stuff at the beginning was impressive. Yeah, that was that insane. is ridiculous. I want to know how he memorized. Boy, something. he had to rehearse that shit. Boy, boy he said you was gonna get the ice cube. He said no the gasoline. <laughs> so I don't know place. how he was doing that shit right there, man. That was crazy right there. He said with a big smile oh, on their face, they gonna get behind you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. We gone, man. Let us know some more comedians, guys. Send them to our DM, guys. We are gone, man. We appreciate it.